What do you use to edit your videos? How do you get started? Where did you find slash make relevant experience to create your reel? How did you get yourself out there and notice? Great question. Try everything. That's that. I'm your host, Andrea Helfrich. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Helfrich. You may know me as the host for the Flyers or for Ultra Music Festival. And I always get a lot of questions about my work on camera, hosting, producing, editing, all that. So I asked you guys to submit your questions, but there were so many that it was like a really long video. So I split it into two. If you missed the first one and you guys want to check it out, I'll link that right there. Um, but yeah, I filmed this a few weeks ago, so I'm not in the same outfit, but answering your questions. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to put a nice transition here. Okay, first one. What do you use to edit your videos? Do you have any tips or recommendations for people trying to learn? Great question. I use Adobe Premiere to edit, but if you're just starting out, iMovie is a perfect place to start. Get familiar with your hotkeys, in, out, codes, all that stuff. It'll make your editing a whole lot faster if you're like quick on the keys. Editing is so stylistic and it's so subjective. Like everyone has a different editing style and that's the fun part. For people trying to learn, YouTube it. Like I'm still learning so many things when I want to figure out how to mask something, I will YouTube it. Um, um, even like keyframing, I'm not very good at that. Like something as simple as like a slow zoom, I will need to figure out. So I just YouTube it. Education, question mark. Uh, Westchester University, studied communication studies, minored in broadcasting. That's that. How do you balance slash separate work from personal life, specifically with social media? It's funny you ask that because right now I am in our bedroom and I've got like the whole kit and caboodle of the camera and the light and the laptop and a microphone that I'm trying out. Antonio's at work right now and I was thinking like, crap, I hope I get this done before he comes home and I can clean it all up because I know it stresses him out. So. Right now with work from home, there is no work-life balance or separation. And I don't think I ever had that, to be honest. Everything is intertwined. Um, luckily, my, my fiance is very aware of what I do and he knows that I have to Instagram food before he's allowed to eat it kind of thing. Not really, but really. But then once I'm done, I put my phone down and I stop. It's all about balance. How do you get started? Current comm major looking to get an entertainment TV production. I would start with backstage.com. I love that website. I have used that website for years. TVjobs.com was one I used years ago. I don't even know if that's still a thing, but that was for like reporter anchor positions. Normally I would say get an internship, but I realized with COVID and the pandemic, that's not as easy or even available as it used to be. So now you gotta get weird. You have to be unconventional and not traditional. Look at brands and people that you either wanna be or you wanna work for. Four. Find them either on LinkedIn, Instagram, message them, direct message them, comment on their posts, let them know that you've got skills that they need. So you guys are all good at your own individual skill sets and you'll get better as you hone those skills. But for right now, if you are 18, 19, 20, and you're trying to figure it all out, like what are you innately good at? Run with that. Offer those skills to either a company or a brand as an intern. These brands still need help with graphic design, with production, with editing, and all of that can be done virtually and from home. So things are not lost. Things are just changing. Can networking slash experience be a game changer in opening up new opportunities? 1000%. Both are so important. I mean, networking, obviously it's great to meet people, but it's better to have experience when you're meeting these new people. It's one thing to talk the talk. It's another to walk the walk. And I always think back to if I hadn't done all the different jobs that I had done leading up to this point, when the flyers emailed me and found my YouTube channel and said, Hey, you're kind of what we're looking for, but we want to meet and see if you're really what we're looking for. If I hadn't had all the experience that I had, I wouldn't have gotten the job. Yes, networking is important, but having the experience for when you network is equally, if not more important. Where did you find slash make relevant experience to create your real, not college slash internships? Hmm. Okay, so my internship with Fox 29, I took all of that and that was my very first demo reel. So if we wanna throw that out the window, the next demo reel came from my job reporting in upstate New York for Fox 40. I took all of that, that became my next reel. And then what I would do, reels are an evolution. What I would do is I would always just like add new things that I was doing to my reel. So the next year, it wasn't all just hard news. It was hard news sprinkled with some entertainment. And then 
Then it got sprinkled with some music. So reels are an evolution. As long as you start one, like that's so important. Just start one and then you can build it and it becomes way less of a mountain to climb. Like it, it can just be so intimidating if you don't start it at all. So start it and then slowly add to it and you'll get to where you want it to be. What computer or laptop do you use for editing videos? How do you upload quickly products? So I use a Windows laptop and that's my work computer. And then I've got my Mac desktop. I love editing on my work laptop. On my desktop, I love it because I can airdrop everything and I'm always filming stuff on my phone, whether it's, you know, for a reel or a TikTok. But I love editing on my Mac desktop because airdrop. That is the one thing that drives me so crazy about my work computer. I can't airdrop from my phone to my computer, but my Windows is really, really good and powerful. So it can hold a lot of footage. It runs quickly. I don't get hung up or Premiere doesn't glitch very much. Saying that and then watch. How did you get yourself out there and noticed? Anything particular someone who is coming from a different job path can do to stand out? I think that actually gives you a leg up, like not being groomed to be on air and be like perfect and proper is better. These days, everyone wants someone who is authentic and raw and you can relate to, like that's who you wanna watch on Instagram stories, on YouTube videos, and essentially that's just parlaying into TV. I mean, in my opinion, gone are the days of like the proper formal hosting. At least that's why I got out of news real quick because I just, I don't wanna do that. Um, so I think that's cool that you're coming from a different career path. Use that to your advantage. Let that help you be comfortable in front of the camera and just talk to the lens like you're talking to your mom or your friend or your brother or sister, someone that you can relate to, be comfortable with, and yeah, use that to your advantage. I love doing these type of videos and I hope that you found this helpful. I kind of feel like this series is becoming like a mini mentorship because I've been doing this for a really long time and I've learned so much over the years, so I wanna be able to share it with you guys. And if you have questions that I didn't answer, or you've got follow-ups, I am always here to reply. So sound off in the comments, let me know what you wanna know, and let me know if you want more of these types of videos, because I really enjoy them. I post every week, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and if you didn't, give this video a thumbs up. Until next week, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye, guys.